Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl, Tiff. Look, I had this really plain wall in my place, and I really wanted to jazz it up, so let's do it, do it, do it. You're going to need some double-sided tape, and it's going to come in clutch if you got a friend to help. Hey, Goldie. First things first, I mama clean all the walls. Because it ain't going to stick if it's dusty and dirty. This is how we place the tape, and the more of these that you already have taped and ready, the faster you're going to get this done. I decided to start from a corner and work my way across and then down. Now, I ain't got no link for y'all. Y'all could just search up on Amazon because Amazon ain't giving me no money. But Amazon, if you want to give me some money, holla at your guala. If you need to make any adjustments to the position of your 3D tiles, I suggest you do that like right after you put them on the wall. It's just going to be easier to pull it off. It doesn't give the adhesive too much time to stick. And yeah, just keep doing it and doing it and doing it well. As you place the tiles down, you just want to give the spots where you know the double-sided tape is located, give those spots a little extra push. And don't be shy to rotate a tile if you need to rotate a tile, because the only thing it's going to do is get that thing more dimension. You feel me? Like... This is how it's coming out so far. Oh my God, calm down, stop rushing me. Now y'all know I like to play with saws and stuff. Why would I try to cut these tiles with a Myra saw? That shit was like <laughs> like plastic crumbs everywhere. So I just cut these with a scissor, put the tape where I needed it to go. And this is how it came out. Like, look at it. Just, do you like it or not? Nah? Like, how you feeling about it? Did you want to come and take a picture in front of it or what? Like, what's what, what, what are we really doing right now?